what's up everybody it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 thank you all so much for tuning in today is May 23rd beautiful May 23rd everybody in the US if you're enjoying the weekend Memorial Day weekend hopefully everybody's staying safe keeping your distance social distancing is in full effect and so is this monstrous multi-level multi ginormous basil leaf hey guys if you're new to the channel my name is Mike I'm an indoor grower here at Grow Indoors 365 if you're new to indoor hydroponic growing make sure to check out the links down below those are those are links directly for everything that you might need to maintain a grow like me look at all that veg unbelievable we'll get to that in just a second and we'll also check in on the tent with the hydroponic tomatoes again make sure to hit the links down below and if you're new make sure to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also hitting the notification bell this way you're notified every single time I upload a video so <laughs> If you're not new to the channel, time to time, this is actually what happens to some of my vegetables when I have too much food upstairs. And I don't consume enough of this beautiful veg. Honestly, this bin is basically forgotten. This kale looks just amazing still, and I'm gonna try to take this down tomorrow. I really am. But this bin, majority of this lettuce, is just, uh, it's, it's, it's to the point of no return. I wasn't able to do much with it at times I just have so much food sometimes uh, you know we've been over buying maybe and uh, I don't know I have some food delivered also and time to time I realize that I just don't come down here enough and eat enough of the vegetables that I love to eat because a lot of times it's just it's just too hard to like I don't even know you know I, I honestly don't know I need to just cook some chicken and be able to during the day just put together a quick salad and I mean it's beautiful this is this is unbelievable vegetable that I put so much time in to to watch it grow and then as the days go on and the work goes on and the childcare goes on it's all that happens guys so that's what's going on here but a little something of interest check that out I'm not sure if I could capture it well but so this is really hard let me see if I can Seems like I might need to. There we go. Hopefully that's showing up a little better. So I planted this maybe about two weeks ago. This is a cucumber. Okay, it's actually a um, a hybrid that does not require pollination. I had a tiny seed. I saw it. Uh, I saw it germinating, and now it's developing into this leaf. I don't know what to take of this. I don't know how it's going to develop out. I don't know much about it. It looks like it could do pretty well. It's taking a little bit to kind of get moving, but we'll see what happens. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm just kind of letting it chill there. I really have to be careful with it because um, I'd really like that for that to go outside. I'm not going to grow that in here. I really got to stick to the plan and I really just have to focus on, let me reduce that light I really have to focus on lettuce I consume lettuce more than anything I consume certain herbs like basil I enjoy that in my salad so that's what I need to focus on kales lettuces basil lemon balm anything in that nature I mean take a look at this this is like a dream come true to many I haven't even like dived into this I mean the colors here are unbelievable the bouquet is just vivid of colors and thick lettuce. It's unbelievable, this whole thing. It's purely beautiful, just unbelievable. Look at this. Wow, look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely stunning. I love it. Let's take a look inside under the hood. Oh, look at that. We need water ASAP. Look at those beautiful roots. But we need water in there immediately. I mean, yeah, when you get a bouquet like that in one reservoir, I mean, this thing is overflowing. Check, take a look at that. It's crazy. So, when you have something like that going on, you're definitely going to be eating a lot of water. This stuff has just been crushing water. It's unbelievable. We'll come back to that, but let's take a look in here. This is, I'm actually pretty sad of what's been going on here. So, uh, two days ago, I decided to make the move 
on moving out three or four, actually I think three, three tomato plants from here because there was a total of six. The way that they were situated, okay, the way that they were situated, they held each other up so well. And now, since I moved the, the three, three, and this is so stupid of me. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I should have just let them be in here, overgrow, whatever happens, happens. It doesn't even matter. But what happened was I took the three out, I brought them outside. I mean, they're already so big, you cannot bring a plant like this. It's probably shocked like crazy. I'm putting it in the dirt. I mean, I'm pretty angry at myself. And now these three are having a tough time kind of standing up. Uh, they look to be very, they look to be fairly healthy. They look to be doing pretty well. I don't know what's going to happen with all of this. Uh, the three that went outside, I, I consider them dead. Um, they're still, the stem is nice and, the, the stem is holding them up outside, but I don't know the survival rate for those three plants in the next week. Um, so unfortunately that's where I am with that. But I mean, overall, these three are doing well. I try to position them in a way that they, they can kind of hold on to each other and still stay upright because they keep falling over. And I was considering doing like tying tying the stems up to something like up there but I th what I have is it's kind of like um, the, th the, the, the material that I have is more I'm not sure what kind of material it is but I felt like it could like burn under the light so I just chose not to move forward with um, with tying them and propping them up on the top part of the tent so yeah it's a little sad in here honestly I'm I'm pretty upset that I took them out. I mean, it's just so dumb of me. I I don't know. You know, there was a lot of communication with people uh, in the comment section in relation to what I should be doing and so forth, but I think I really made the wrong move, and I should not have taken them out. I should have just let them live and overgrow and develop however they wanted to. We got some lettuce still. What the... This is like, wait, this is crazy. This is like a long stem of lettuce head that just keeps on going up and up and up. Look at this. This is how it grows, by the way. It's like interesting. It's like a thin, thin, slim stem that kind of just goes out. It's actually a pretty nice piece of lettuce there that could easily be useful for a salad. So this is what's going on, guys. Honestly, nothing new has developed since the last five days that I've been showing you uh, what I had going on here. But I think it's now time to start really uh, breaking these two reservoirs down, taking everything out, or take, trying to eat as much as possible of what's left here. Start eating this reservoir, or at least move this one with this one maybe up top. Take these two down, and I also have two more right here. So that's what I really want to do. I'm kind of, it's kind of, these reservoirs are kind of sad. It's like, it's like when, and, and this, this happens all the time to me. I, I, I work so hard on building these and then um, I'm showing you guys on how to go about doing this and motivating you that you could do this on your own anywhere in the world, especially, again, I want to say there's crazy stuff going on in the world. A lot of people are going hungry. There's lines of people standing there trying to get food. Now I know that you know, you're know you not gonna really get super full on a little bit of lettuce, but hey, in in, in dire situations, you, you got to grow whatever you can and you got to eat whatever you can. I think on the next video what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how I go about cloning basil. If you guys want to see me clone some basil, make sure to sm smash that like button. Uh, this way I really know that people are out there trying to learn and trying to understand and uh, you guys want to you guys want to learn more about about the little bit pro the little things that additionally that you can do especially for the fact that you could take one plant and I could create from one plant just let me t let me show you this from this plant right here one plant I could grow one two and in a little bit three four I could take this one plant and turn it into four plants without having to germinate brand new seeds literally like uh, this little this little part right here I don't want to go too much into it because I want to create its own separate video for it but basically when you see a stem just like this and you have the leaves 
two leaves or, or, or you see this little bit of leaves right here okay I'll take these big ones off I'll cut this stem off in a certain way basically at a at a sharp angle right here and then I'll be able to use some of that uh, um, some of the uh, Clonex I'll use the Clonex and put that directly into a rock wool and uh, it's it's like miracle I mean it's unbelievable but we'll, we'll go through that in a totally separate video uh, and that's all that's going on in here guys so again thank you so much for watching um, by the way also can you guys comment if I should ditch the two the two bulb for the aggro light and just go with the four also it's like that it's like that cool color even though it seems like it's a full spectrum I actually like the warm colors better um, because I don't think these T5s are a uh, full spectrum, but that aggro bright is supposed to be a full spectrum So I'm not sure what to expect or what to uh, what to think about that and uh, This is it and I still have to get the two lights for this large four uh, Four foot with the four lights as you can see here I'm only operating on two lights and it's still doing pretty well on developing the overall the overall uh, veg here so anyway guys i hope you're all enjoying your weekend make sure you're social distancing make sure you're wearing your mask out there and if you want to learn more about growing inside make sure to uh, watch all my videos make sure to watch the back videos and make sure to subscribe as well as share this video with anyone you think might want to learn more about growing food indoor hydroponically all the links are down below for everything you guys need if you have any questions make sure to leave me a comment down below guys again thank you for watching have a phenomenal weekend. Stay safe, guys. Adios.